Okay, hi, I'm Geodev, and what we're going to do this time round is as quick as possible show you how to get a new character mesh into this project. And it's a project I've got recently, so and a few people are having, I won't say issues, but not too sure on way to go with it so it's the FPS which is first person shooter Mo multiplayer template uh, what you need to fo follow this tutorial is obviously this template which hopefully you've got and then we go to the marketplace epic games content it's the free stuff now for the moment please stay away from the paragon stuff because that's a little bit more complicated, so let's see if we can quickly find what we're going to use. I've already got this installed into a project, so there we go. Infinity Blade Warriors, right? You can see it, it says owned adversaries. Oh, I've got that in, I don't know, can't remember. Anyway, this is what you're going to need. Make sure you get it install it into a project okay so let's see how you can do that once you've got it in your vault then I can't see it for the there we go it says add to a project and you add it to whatever project now I'm just going to open my gotcha it will open there we go and we'll see what you get get in there right this is just some of that's one of my characters that I got from a guy many many years ago there's a couple of my uh, Miximo characters Miximo with, with Fuse which I done long ago and again right open me content packet and as you can see here I've got in, Infinity Warriors Blade Warriors excuse me and characters complete characters texture materials and all the rest of it all right so what we're going to go for is like i say the easiest part of this is because if you look at this bit here it says sk mannequin skeleton so it's a skeletal mesh and it's for the mannequin skeleton which is what's become the uh, the standard skeleton rig for content that is sold on sold on epics marketplace now unfortunately the author of fps multiplayer template initially started using the content from the shooter game demo which is all well and good and it's all very nice and sparkly and looks nice a lot better <coughs> but that skeleton rig is not compatible with the mannequin okay you, you can re do a lot of retargeting this that and the other and it's just I won't say a pain there it's just additional work that you shouldn't have to be doing but that's up to the author and we're here to show what you can do instead so what we're gonna do is a quick look at one of these characters uh, Okay, you don't see a lot because it's... There we go. Yeah, sod it. Let's go for him. Not seeing him in that in-game. So all you got to do is, once all your shaders have compiled and all the rest of it, just to be on the safe side, <coughs> you right-click on it, and you go down to Asset Actions, and Migrate. And it'll tell you everything that it's going to take with it, which sometimes is a bit too much. So you've got to be careful when you're migrating, especially when you've got blueprints involved. All right, now we're going to look for what we're going to migrate it to. Now that should be in here. And where did I put it? I cannot see. Don't tell me I put it in the other bit. Uh, quite possible. 
Okay, let's go into documents. This is one of the unfit. No. Here we, here we go again, because I can't find anything. That could be it. Okay, so we're going to go in. I bought the pr problem with the uh, FPS multiplayer template is whenever you start a pro a project and you just do the default install with it it keeps on whinging at you about the length of the name so might be an idea to alter that before you go any further but anyway let's go let's put it in here and off we go and I'll tell you can content migration is completely success, success, successful I'm gonna put my teeth in Right, and I'm just going to swap over to that project. Yes, we're going to restart it. Now, as you can see here, this is the uh, is standard thing. And if I open the content browser, we now get the FPS folder with all this stuff in there and we got the Infinity Warrior character eventually somewhere. Now why have I got two? Did I do this earlier? Ah, quite possible. Let's have a quick gander at him. That's a different one. Don't remember doing him. But hey ho. Yep, fine. Whatever. Right, the first thing what you've got to do with these characters to make things easier for you is get it off this skeleton. Now, what one of the, uh, I won't say easy things, it, it just reduces overall loads on the game engine and everything else when, if you're using a lot of characters, if they all use the same rig, all use the same animations, if you can reduce the workload, it should run better. Now, this is the way it was done years and years ago. Whether it's still applicable nowadays, I don't know. You'd have to ask somebody at Epic who's got a lot more knowledge over these systems than what I have. But for this case, to make things easier for you guys let's just I say replace or retarget uh, maybe not quite but what we're going to do is get this rig or this character to use all this stuff that's in here all right so you don't have to remake uh, and in blueprints and all the rest of the stuff anyway let's stop burbling and just get on with it right click skeleton assign skeleton all right so the one that you want is this one here and it says ue4 UE4 mannequin skeleton it's in the game folder. Uh, let's see if I can get this. So it's in the game folder. Yes. FPS folder. Yes. Characters. Yes. Mannequin mesh. That's the one you want. Okay. And you can see here in the, the currently selected and the target skeleton bone, it's all the same. And this is very important. Okay, so we're just going to go accept that, and I'm going to do the exact same for the other one. Right, so how on earth do we know that it's worked? So I'm going to be very, as quick as possible here. Characters and classes. Right, if you go into content, FPS, blueprints, character and classes you will find the base classes that 
the author has made for us. Now, the one that uses the mannequin skeleton is this one. All right, and you open it up and you go, what on earth am I supposed to be doing with that? Don't panic. Click on the tab with viewport. Scroll in. You will see the mannequin character. That's the one. And all you have to do is go in here in the details panel, down to mesh, skeletal mesh, left click on the arrow, and where is he? Uh, do we want that? Oh, let's go for the warrior. Alright, you can see he's in the correct position. So compile and save. Close that down. Close that down, uh, play, now I need to have two players here, because otherwise chances are you're not going to see anything. So I'm going to play, I'm going to host, uh, if I can do this correctly, test level, host, now I don't know why my windows are so big. So spawn. Uh, what was it? I think it was that one. That's one. Uh, join. Search. Uh, I'm not st stopping the video to to mess with this. So spawn. You will get a load of shit down there. Don't know why that is. And oh look. There he is. Now, as you can see there, the second player, for whatever reason, yes, because I think I selected the wrong guy. Now, if I can walk in front of him, you can see. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a third-person camera, which would probably be a bit helpful here. But if I go... Uh, is it that? No, it's that one. And I go back over here. Now, now you can see him on the right screen. Uh, that doesn't do anything. Okay. Yeah, yeah, jump, 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 jump. Dodging left and right. Okay. So quickly r repeat myself all right you could do it from here if you wish if I remember rightly uh, there was something that you could uh, okay let leave it uh, uh, why on earth can I never find what, what I'm looking for? is like add packages to something anyway never mind migrate your character into FPS okay very quickly again right click on it skeleton assign the correct skeleton e.g. the mannequin and then you can go into the character classes and using the the BP official class. Now, why is he caught? I don't. Sorry, I, I don't work with his his thinking. But you go in, you can select the mesh. Okay, this is. It says mesh is the third person view mesh. So let's c correct it correctly name it and you can see it in there and all you have to do I mean I can change that here to, to RAM and compile save and you see him in there okay it's that easy so long as you, you remember you're using the mannequin rig and you switch your characters over to use the mannequin rig that is in this project 
because otherwise it's going to try using this rig and that isn't going to do you any bit of good because this rig at the moment does not have a anim blueprint now you could retarget the whole anim blueprint but as you can see as you saw what i done there it takes five seconds to swap that rig onto the one that's already in here in this project okay so i'll leave it with that if you've got any questions you can catch me in the fbs multiplayer template discord channel which is uh, that one there uh, i'm in here quite often mainly european summertime evenings because i live in europe as you might have guessed and i'll catch you guys the next time okay Ho hope it helps you so have fun <laughs>